Please be advised that the following video my sister will be reacting and discussing is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. It's me, the robotic Fizzerali, shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land spelled with O's to avoid lawsuits. Lulu Land, Lulu Land, everybody. Yo, he sounds like Beetlejuice. He has a dream, he has a dream. I'm here to tell. He's here to tell. Hi, I'm Ashley, and my life is kind of crazy. No one told you that was gonna be this way. You and Gomers like this. You and Gomers like this. You and Gomers. I don't see any of y'all any of y'all having the arm sleeve designs to this shirt from the resurrection sale, huh? Mm. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, Alistair! La, la, la. Hi, how are ya? It's been a bit, huh? Hmm. It's welcome to the Fashion Ash show. And today. Oh, you gonna? Okay, I'm sorry. Meow, my knuckles is Fashion Ash 104. You're Azer. And today we are watching Hello Boss episode two about five. Three days later, I believe. So three days later from when it was posted. Why? Not because of not like last time where I had to go to a Halloween party. I was home. I was freely home. Y'all don't know. Let's start off simple because I'm already a mess. Um, there was a hell of a boss stream, and that's where they introduce. Uh, I think his name was Lulu, the Apple mascot, a new character that was like, I think he's an angel. He looks like one. And uh, Robo Fizz. Vivian Madrano said that based off Robo Fizz's colors, like his design and stuff, he's slightly based off of. Uh, Beetlejuice and we don't know if that's gonna be the same voice or not but I don't know I haven't really seen Beetlejuice I've only heard the songs and I do want to see Beetlejuice okay there's that out of the way the reason our setup is like slightly different you probably don't notice but I can notice really well from the up down from the up part camera hey how's it going you like my head what? if you guys haven't already heard from the discord my Instagram and Twitter if you should be following that if you're not I don't know why you're not I have kittens! We have babies! Two baby kittens that I will show at the end of the video because right now they're sleeping. So yeah, now we officially have members of the family. One of them isn't a calico cat. Um, either of them are not named Reese's. And if you know what I'm talking about, you've been here long enough, which is a good thing. Also, uh, if you guys don't know who Saturn is, Saturn Z is an artist on Twitter that I like um, to follow and I have spoken to. I have been invited to her discord by my friend baron because he's such a sweetheart and it, i was in her server and i was in a vc so i met these people who run the lore cast if you guys know what that is then good on you anyway the lore cast was doing an art competition in their discord server and it was for a christmas banner event and i decided you know why not i met the people they're pretty nice the characters designs are pretty epics I should participate and Tia was so sweet enough to give to have mercy on me and give me an extra day to finish it for them because I really wanted to finish it and if you guys don't know already I take a little while with art because I put a lot into it uh, me and I think her name was like something cookies I'd have to check the discord again uh, drew ban drew banners for the contest and hers was really nice and I didn't want to take it away from her but Right when I posted the banner thing, my ba my banner for the competition, I got an at like five minutes later, or like not even, probably even less, from Tia in that server. I don't know why, but when I checked the banner event and I checked their Discord banner, and if you want to see it too, on my Twitter or their Twitter, I won the contest, <laughs> which was, I've never, I never participated in contests before and won, or just participated in art contests in general. But now if you look at the Lorecast's Twitter, and if you're in their Discord server, you'll see that my 
my banner is their Christmas banner, both on Discord and Twitter, which is really freaking cool. And I know they do not watch my channel or know what it is, but I just want to say thank you for Tia for being so sweet enough to give me another another day. And I really like, uh, I think her name is Cookies, um, drawing too. So basically we both won and my banner is the Discord banner and Cookies is the invite link picture. And I just want to say thank you again to Lorecast for, for really liking the banner that much that they changed it on both platforms, which is really crazy. But yeah, if you guys know who the Lorecast is, then now you know what that banner is from. Me! But that's, yeah, that's really cool. Anyway, let's get on with the episode because I've waited long enough. Mm, Olivia is calling us, Stella. Uh, you get up. <sighs> Fia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. A really bad dream. <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. Octavia's voice is you so there, there, Via. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How silent grows under the moon Constellations gone so soon I used to think that I was bold I used to think love would be fun Now all my stories have been told Except for As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Everything will be okay. And if the seven rings collapse, although Damn embarrassment! I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! <sighs> Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my owlet? What? Rubble Fizz is on the ball? The box? What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You, Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? Um. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? 
I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Oh, money maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, <laughs> I'm calling the only man who can f*** me. <laughs> who can protect me? Us. <laughs> Is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, Blitz, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what? Why, hello, my big dick, Blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. <laughs> I have a special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, no, what? no, no, no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Honey. Done! Another phone. Hey, we're going to Lululand. Lululand? Now remember. This Damn, he's tall! You are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to? Okay, right, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh! How long have you been in hell? What do you mean? <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on. It's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there. Ah, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lululand. If y'all get hurt here, just <laughs> What is the blitz? <laughs> what is the blitz? Look, Thea, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I <laughs> know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. money wise. Yeah. What? How does that make sense? I see Robo Fizz everywhere. How does that make sense? Cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land. Listen to your hoe, Mox. How about I take the first watch while you two have a little fun? Oh, we gotta do my favorite ride. Oh yeah? Which which one? Oh, crumbs. <laughs> You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. <laughs> you both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Thea! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. I hate, I hate that fucking, fucking clown. clown. 
Oh, Blitzy! I need my bodyguard, please! <laughs> Show celebrating Lulu Land spell with those to avoid lawsuits. Get it? Lulu Land, Lulu Land, everybody. Yo, he sounds Lulu like Beetle Every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu. And you to tell, tell about a magical, fantastic place called Lulu. Yo, he just caught me, Charlie. Oh, hello, step right up and win a thing. <gasps> oh, look, Moxie, a thing. Oh, you like that thing? Yes. I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing. <sighs> Finally, some thing I can handle. Okay. One game, please. It's a classic Ow! Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. <sighs> I hate like ah! What the heaven's wrong with this thing? Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. Wow. <laughs> Another! Yeah, we'll see along with the Lulu band. Every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 how delightful. Oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. You sound like Octavia. <laughs> oh, is that lit so my sensor spot of air? I guess the kitties are still running away from you, huh? <laughs> uh oh, it's silent now. Uh, uh, just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester. <laughs> Someone's salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! I say, I say, get your inconvenient torches here. I say, ow! <laughs> wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me, you, you, you charlatan? Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Yeet! <laughs> Sir? Oh, hey guys. You should probably go uh, make sure Stolas is okay. I got some unfinished business to take care of. Ah, oh, what a mouth. <laughs> So that explains the poster from the pilot. Why were you even born? Octavia? Just leave me alone. Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, that's better. Where is Blitty? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Uh, busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Wow. Octavia. I take it you are... not having fun. 
I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with some weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just... I felt... She's always been... I haven't been... Ha we weren't in... I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have the words. Are you gonna run off with him? And leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No! No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> What would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. <gasps> that slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> Robofizz is creepy as hell, <laughs> but I love him. I think that actually is the voice actor of Beetlejuice. I think that is the person who plays Beetlejuice. It sounds just like him. <laughs> Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? <laughs> He's so cool. He is legit and animatronic. I also really like how when he was fighting Blitzo, he was like melting <laughs> and it just showed out more cre how creepier he is under the exoskeleton and when he was talking about that blitz worked there as well that kind of explains the poster from the pilot and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about in the pilot episode it said blitzo and barbie and somebody else i don't know her name but she was in the poster too i'm guessing they were all like performers so they must have had a history in general or just a history at lululand because i know definitely blitz has worked at lululand robofizz really just did that he legit just copied charlie he did the exact same thing she did at the beginning of her song God, it's either he knows well it's on hell so he probably knows it's probably why he did that but at the same time animation that can make anything similar this episode was really great i really like the stolas voice actor um with this music stolas is a very fitting character i really like him and i'm surprised we actually heard the mom's voice you are a goddamn embarrassment i'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp sucking face she sounds like somebody familiar to be honest but i can't put my finger on it and octavia octavia is so cute and when she grew up she's just she's just like luna she's in that angsty teen phase i'm happy we finally actually got to learn about octavia more about Stolas' family. God, I really love Robofist and I really want to draw this man. I really want to see the episode again. All of it was really cool. I really, really liked it. And
and I'm definitely going to watch it again. And I'm mad that I had to wait this long, but hey, it was worth it because look, y'all got content. We haven't put anything out in a little bit, so I might as well give you something. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Wait, no, 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 no. The kitties. If you guys don't know, we got two kittens. This is Stella. Oh, Alistair died. I guess he's scared of cats. This is Stella. She doesn't like being held for very long. She was sleeping. I'm sorry, but I wanted to show you guys her. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, sweetie. This is midnight. This is midnight. I woke him up, so he was a little shaken. Shaken. Um, they're both brother and sister. Midnight's the boy, Stella's the girl. And they're, um, the, they're from the same litter. So they're comfortable with each other. And yeah. My birthday's almost co almost coming up, and I am making something for my birthday. Follow my Twitter if you haven't already, because that's where I'm mostly on. And ever since Twitter got uh, these things called fleets, they're just like stories on Instagram. They disappear in a day. And you can only see fleets on phones, so there you go. Hope you guys all have a perfect day. And comment down below, what was your favorite um, part about so too. If I had to say, probably would be the beginning segment of Stolas and Octavia because that was really cute. But at the same time, I really like the introduction of Robofizz. He's legit a living animatronic and it's very cool. Anyway, I'll leave you guys alone. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye! As the stars start to align I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay everything will be okay and if the seven rings collapse although the day could be my last you will be okay when I'm gone you'll be And you